We are at Coral Pink Sand Dunes State Park in Utah. I've been here once. My freshman year of high school, they brought my entire class here and we did a camping trip. It was really fun. There are these giant pink sand dunes over here. A bunch of kids brought like snowboards and sleds and things like that. And it was so fun because you can just like ride down the dunes as if it's snow. But we don't have any of those things. So I'm thinking, it's actually Leah's idea. We were thinking we might take these Tupperware lids and try them out as sleds. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna work, but I'm not gonna bring this big camera. I'm way too scared to bring this camera onto the sandy dunes, so I'm switching over to the GoPro. Let's go sledding. How cool is this? Should I go face first? <laughs> He's got it. It's not strong enough. You got it. I think. Just keep going like that. <laughs> I remember when we were in like high school, people were just doing flips and stuff off of here, just like going absolutely ham. Well, these are a fail. Maybe we'll just tumble. Do a front flip. There you go. There you go. Very great. Careful. Careful. I saw myself in the To Zion National Park. We're driving through the park right now to get to our campground. Apparently there's like a mile long tunnel in the park that goes under a mountain and it's really low. So for vehicles as big as ours they have to stop traffic and let us be the only car going through this mile long tunnel. So that'll be an interesting experience. We're all a little bit nervous about it but they do it all the time right? It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Hello. Hi guys. How are you? Alright, I'll stay for, no. for just a moment. Okay. Yeah. I'll you say hi. Do you need it? Yep. And we're in the process of clearing the tunnel out for you now. Cool. As soon as we do that, we're going to send you guys right down the middle of the tunnel. Just okay. be sure your lights are on for me. Okay. It's going to be about five minutes while we clear it out. Thank and then you. I'll tell you, time you Thank, Thank you, you so much. Cool. Right down the middle. Before uh, it gets too dark outside and before it gets 
too dark in the world. Oh, God. <laughs> just wanted to check in and give you guys an update. We made it to Zion. We just finished dinner. I made pasta and chicken nuggets. And this place is crazy. It just looks like a freaking, I don't know, like Mars, like a different planet. And Hello. it's beautiful. The, the sun is setting. This is the first time that we've been able to eat outside this whole trip. And with that, I gotta go get my laundry. So all dry. That's it. Did you do my laundry? No. And that was it guys. That's pretty much all I shot on this trip. After that dinner, the election results pretty much just started rolling in and I couldn't bear to look at my phone. So we went on a night hike and I turned my phone off and I actually didn't look at it until the next morning. We had a whole another two days in Zion. We went on some incredibly beautiful hikes. It was so great. I just got to enjoy my family and hang out in nature in one of the most beautiful places in the world. And it was much, much needed. We're back in LA now, as you guys can tell. Uh, thank you so much for watching all these videos. I had so much fun making them. Thank you to my brother-in-law, James, for driving the entire trip. He loves driving, and it also gave me a chance to put a little bit more time into these videos, as well as stay on top of my other two jobs. Whitey's here. I know a lot of you guys were asking about Whitey, but here she is. Um, she stayed with my friend Kendra while we were gone. You know, she wasn't just at some like random cat boarding place. She was with Kendra and they got along great and Kendra loves her and actually she's like kind of bummed to be home. Like she really likes Kendra. <laughs> Leah and James have now gone home to Massachusetts. They took a flight home yesterday. Super bummed to, to see them go, but very grateful that we got to have such an amazing trip like that. It's truly a once in a lifetime type of experience and I'm so happy that we'll have these videos to watch. And thank you guys for watching them too. Dingo of the day goes to Gabriella. Gabriella, thank you so much for watching the videos. Gabriella, you go girl. If you guys want a chance to be the Dingo of the day, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and you just might be picked to be the Dingo of the next video. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!